welcome back to the channel. And this is the OnePlus 11, and this is the Nothing Phone 2. Now, I've been wanting to do this versus video for some time now, but every time I wanna work on it, a new phone comes out or an update gets pushed out to both devices, so everything I wrote kinda just goes to the trash. But I figured now is the best time to do this before new phones come out. So if you've been debating between which of these two phones that you should pick up, hopefully this video helps you out. So just like in my reviews, I wanna give you guys a basic spec overview of these two phones. So the Nothing Phone 2 packs a 6.7 inch OLED display with 120 Hertz refresh rate that can dip down to one Hertz. And the screen has a peak brightness of 1600 nits. Now this also packs a 4,700 milliamp hour battery, which can fast charge up to 40 watts wired and 15 watts wirelessly. Now the Nothing Phone 2 is equipped with the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, which yes, is last year's chip. There's a much newer, faster 8 Gen 2, which is on the OnePlus 11, but the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 is still very capable of running heavy intensive tasks and nothing really optimizes this chip with their software uh, to make sure that it's stable for the Phone 2. Now my unit comes with 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage, and this retails for $699. The OnePlus 11, on the other hand, features a 6.7 inch, 120 hertz AMOLED display that can also dip down to one hertz to save on battery. And the display has a peak brightness of 1300 nits, while the difference is 300 nits, you couldn't really tell most days. Now, battery on the OnePlus 11 is a tad bit bigger than the Nothing Phone 2, coming in at 5,000 milliamp hours, which in my opinion, is the standard for flagship phones. Charging is also different here with a maximum 80 watt wired, but you are gonna miss out on wireless charging, which I'm not sure why OnePlus decided to take that out uh, of the OnePlus 11, but I will say the 80 watt wired charging is insanely fast. Besides that though, the OnePlus 11 features the 8 Gen 2 processor, like I said earlier, which pretty much runs more efficiently and gives you slightly better GPU and CPU performance. Now my OnePlus 11 comes with 16 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage, and this retails for $799. Now in terms of overall design, I love the uniqueness of the Nothing Phone 2. It's very reminiscent of the iPhone, obviously, but looking past the flat aluminum side frames, the rounded glass back with the glyph interface is really what makes Nothing Phones stand out. Now, sure, you can say it's just a glorified notification light, but there's more to that than just being a notification light. You can set a timer on the phone and it'll count down and put on a light show for you once the alarm goes off. There's also a tally light for when you're recording a video. And then when you plug in your phone to charge it, you'll see a progress light to show how much charge you have. And the obvious is that you can also use the glyph lighting for videos and photos as fill light. Now, the OnePlus 11, on the other hand, is still a great looking phone. It's got a massive circular camera module on the upper left of the phone, but it's nowhere near as much of an eye candy as the Nothing Phone 2. Now, I do appreciate the added benefit of having the alert slider, which has become OnePlus's unique icon feature in all of their flagship devices. As far as I'm aware, no other phone besides the iPhone features an alert slider. And as someone who loves to fidget and actually have their phone set to vibrate or silent, I love having this feature on the OnePlus 11. But going back to the overall design though, the rounded glass back, glossy design, and slim sides on the OnePlus 11 can make the phone a little bit slippery, whereas the Nothing Phone 2 and its flat sides feel amazing in hand with a curved glass back. It's just a much more enjoyable experience using this phone one-handed. Now, when it comes to software, both phones are running Android 13 out of the box. Both are updated to their respective software with you know, the latest security patch, but the Nothing Phone 2 uses Nothing OS 2.0 on top of Android 13, while the OnePlus 11 is running Oxygen OS 13.1. Now, this one is kind of hard to pick between the two since I love you know, just how simple simple and fluid and responsive the OnePlus 11 is on a daily basis. But the Nothing Phone 2 with its super cool iconography and fonts just fits its whole persona. It's sleek, it's very futuristic and very different from your typical Android home screen with the flat material you like design. But if you peel off those icons and change up the font, uh, the Phone 2 and OnePlus 11 are pretty similar. Now the OnePlus 11 does have more customization features uh, than the Nothing Phone 2 uh, in terms of software features and gestures that you can enable but also OnePlus is one of the few OEMs to get Android 14 early and you can even install the beta on the OnePlus 11 if you want early access to the next major update to Android. And as for the Nothing Phone 2, well, there's no word from them yet uh, when that's gonna get Android 14, but as of right now, the Phone 1 is the only one that can update to the beta, but I'll update you guys in a comment section when that's out. But as far as the OnePlus 11 goes, rumors are suggesting that Android 14 is gonna release in the next few weeks. Now, in terms of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 versus 8 Plus Gen 1, the difference in raw performance goes like this. 
The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 on the OnePlus 11 will give you about 30-ish percent better GPU performance. So if you're a huge gamer, this might be the move for you. But when it comes to CPU, you're only really gonna get about 10% boost in terms of CPU performance on a daily basis. And then when it comes to overall power draw, you'll get about 18-ish percent less power draw versus the 8 Plus Gen 1. Now, how is that day-to-day? -day? Well, that depends on you and what you, you know, throw on your phone. The OnePlus 11 is a total workhorse. It's great at gaming. It's very fluid switching from apps to apps. Launching the camera from the lock screen is very quick, but the Nothing Phone 2 is no slouch either. Now, if I wasn't comparing these two side by side, I'd say they're pretty comparable. So it's really hard to gauge between uh, these two phones in terms of performance here. But if you really want the best of the best between these two phones, the OnePlus 11 with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is the way to go. Now, before we talk about cameras, I just wanna quickly talk about battery life. And what I can say is this, I can easily drain both of these phones by midnight if I'm gaming a ton or using the cameras a ton, and I'd have to charge these phones overnight. But obviously how you use your phone is gonna be a lot different than how I use mine. So just take my testing with a grain of salt. Uh, three advantages the OnePlus 11 does have over the phone too is faster wired charging, a bigger battery, and a more efficient chipset. The faster charging on the OnePlus 11 is killer. It can pretty much charge your phone from zero to 100 close to 30 minutes, while the phone too can full charge the phone in under an hour. All right, now let's talk cameras. So the Nothing Phone 2 packs a dual camera setup with a main wide camera at 50 megapixels using the IMX890 sensor and an ultra wide camera also at 50 megapixels, which I was told by Nothing is the same sensor from the Phone 1, but they were able to optimize the sensor to make the ultra wide a lot better thanks to the newer chipset. Now the OnePlus 11 packs a triple camera setup, a 50 megapixel, which is the same IMX890 sensor for the main wide camera, a 48 megapixel ultra wide camera, and a 32 megapixel 2X telephoto lens. Now photo quality are obviously subjective. What I like in terms of photos and you know how it's processed might be something you hate or vice versa. Maybe I like more moodier looking shots while you prefer brighter and saturated photos. Now, personally, from my experience, the OnePlus 11's main shooter looks to be processed better thanks to the ISP on the 8 Gen 2, but also their partnership with Hasselblad. But I wouldn't say they're necessarily the best looking photos I've shot on a phone. Now, from my testing, I think in terms of camera quality, the Phone 2 and the OnePlus 11 are neck and neck. It spits out very similar looking images in daylight with natural looking colors and nice bokeh, but the HDR processing and the overall details is just a little bit better on the OnePlus 11. And the same goes for low light performance and less ideal lighting. The HDR processing with bright lights and dark shadows are processed much better on the OnePlus 11 versus the Phone 2. Now, both phones also feature a 2X zoom in camera. And while the Phone 2 crops in on that mean 50 megapixel camera to create that 2X shot, the OnePlus 11 actually has a dedicated 2X zoom lens, which makes the overall photo look better with less processed details. And when it comes to ultra wide, I think they're both pretty comparable. Both spit out good looking ultra wide with you know, good contrast levels and really accurate colors. And then when it comes to videos, I think the clear winner here is the OnePlus 11. It has better stabilization, better HDR processing, and overall just a much nicer camera system than what's on the phone 2 currently. But what do you guys think here? Let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, that's the Nothing Phone 2 and the OnePlus 11. Both are incredible phones and whether you go with one or the other, I don't think that you'll be disappointed. You can find the Phone 2 on their website with a starting price of $599 and goes all the way up to $799, while the OnePlus 11 starts at $599 and goes to $799, which is the model that I have. But more often than not, you'll be able to find the OnePlus 11, the 16 gig version on sale for around $600. Now, personally, I'll pick up the OnePlus 11 over the Nothing Phone 2, and here's why. I think the Nothing Phone 2 as it is with, you know, it's super unique hardware design and software optimizations, I think is a really great device. But when you've got a phone like the OnePlus 11 that's the same price as the base phone 2, you're getting a much newer processor, a dedicated 2X zoom lens, a bigger battery with much faster wired charging, and it supports eSIM, which unfortunately the phone 2 does not support. It's kind of hard not to recommend the OnePlus 11, even if it's the 128 gigs of storage with eight gigs of RAM. Now, personally, I'd opt in for the 256 gig model with 16 gigs of RAM, but what about you guys? Which one would you rather pick up? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I've got something coming to your sub boxes very soon that you don't want to miss out on. 
And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.